improvements in food resources the food supplies us with carbohydrates proteins fats minerals and vitamins which are required for body development growth and health we obtain food from agriculture and animal husbandry india the most populous country demands increase in the food production india is already intensively cultivated its production efficiency in crop should be increased we have been practicing green revolution white revolution blue revolution and yellow revolution for the improvement in agriculture and animal husbandry but these revolution utilize our natural resource and disturb the ecological balance hence there is a need for sustainable practice cereals provides us carbohydrates pulses provides us with proteins fats are provided by oil seeds growth of plants and flowering and maturity are dependent on sunlight The Kharif season is between June and October and the Rabi season is between November and April. The activities for improving crop yields can be classified as crop variety improvement, crop production improvement, crop protection management. The required characteristics for improving crops are disease resistance response to fertilizers product quality and high yields hybridization is the crossing between genetically dissimilar plants genetically modified crops are produced by introducing a gene with desired characters into the crop plants using genetic engineering methods through genetic engineering crops which can grow in doubt conditions which can withstand the salinity of soil can be produced the factors for which improvement is done are a higher yield b improved quality c biotic and abiotic resistance d change in maturity duration e wider adaptability f desirable agronomic characteristics macronutrients the nutrients which are required in large quantities micronutrients the nutrients which are required in small quantities altogether 16 nutrients are essential to the plants which are supplied by air water and soil Deficiency of nutrients affects the physiological process in plants. Hence, nutrients should be supplemented either in the form of manures or fertilizers. Manures. Manure contains large quantities of organic matter and supplies small quantities of nutrients. Manures increase soil fertility, improve soil structure, water holding capacity in sandy soil and avoids water logging in clay soils compost vermicompost and green manure are the types of manures generally we use fertilizers fertilizers are commercially produced plant nutrients they supply nitrogen phosphorus and potassium excessive use of fertilizers causes air and water pollution long term use causes loss of soil fertility organic farming is the farming without using fertilizers pesticides herbicides and with the usage of only organic manures irrigation getting proper irrigation facilities at proper time increases the crop yield 
wells, canals, rivers and tanks are few irrigation facilities available. Rainwater harvesting and watershed management are the latest methods to provide irrigation facilities. Cropping pattern A. Mixed cropping Growing two or more crops simultaneously on the same piece of land. B. Intercropping Growing two or more crops simultaneously on the same field in a definite pattern. C. Crop rotation Growing different crops on a piece of land in a pre-planned succession. Crop protection management Weeds, pests, disease affect the crop and reduce the yield. A. Weeds Unwanted plants grow along with crop plants. Example, Xanthium, Paranthium, Cyperinus, Rotundus. B. Insect pests Insect pests attack the crop plants by cutting the root, stem, or leaves, suck the cell sap and bore the stem or fruit, thus reducing the yield. C. Diseases Diseases are caused by pathogens like bacteria, fungi and virus. D. These can be controlled by spraying pesticides, weedicides and fungicides on the crop plants or by the treatment of seeds before sowing. Storage of grains A. Storage losses of grains leads to poor marketability. B. The storage losses may be 1. Biotic factors Insects, rodents, fungi, bacteria and mites. 2. Abiotic factors Moisture and inappropriate temperature in the storage area 3. Biotic and abiotic factors causes degradation in quality, discolorization, loss in weight and poor germinability 4. Fumigation and cleaning the produce before storage Reduce loss during storage. Animal husbandry is a branch of science which deals with scientific management of livestock. Cattle farming is done for two purposes. A. Milk production. B. For agricultural labor work. The cattle which are reared used for milk are known as Milching animals, whereas the animals used for farm labors are called draught animals. Milk production depends on period of lactation. Exotic breeds have high lactation period. Indigenous breeds are resistant to diseases. Proper cleaning and shelter facilities are to be provided for the cattle for humane farming. The food required for dairy animals are of two types. A. Maintenance requirement Required for the health of the cattle. B. Milk production requirement Required during lactation period. The cattle feed include roughages, Concentrates, nutritious food, feed additives with micronutrients to promote health and for milk outputs of dairy animals. Poultry farming improves the production of eggs and chicken meat. Layers are reared for eggs and broilers for meat. The crossbreeding between the indigenous species and exotic species produce new varieties with desired characters. Broilers are fed with vitamin-rich supplementary food which is rich in protein as well as fat. 
for good production of poultry good management practices are important like a hygienic conditions in house and in feed b maintaining proper ventilation space and light c maintaining proper temperature d regular vaccination to avoid diseases e spraying disinfectants at regular intervals etc fish meat is the rich source of vitamin a and d fish can be obtained from rivers and sea or from fish farming marine fish are caught using technologies like satellites and echo sounders some marine fish are farmed in sea water for economical benefit example finned fishes bullets tehti etc shellfish prawns mussels oysters etc brackish water resources where sea water and river water mixes like estuaries and lagoons are reservoirs for fish fish production is a secondary crop in rice fields fish can be intensively obtained from composite fish farms where five or six variety of fishes can be reared in composite fish culture there is a lack of availability of good quality seeds this can be minimized by breeding these fish in ponds using hormonal stimulation which ensures the supply of pure fish seed in desired quantities beekeeping is rearing of honey bees otherwise called apiculture for farmers beekeeping gives additional income not only through honey but from the bee wax also the italian variety apis mellifera is used for commercial production of honey its advantages are a they have high capacity for honey collection b they sting less c they stay in bee hive for a long period the collection of honey depends on the pasturage and the kind of flowers available for nectar and pollen collection